Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Pony Montana, and today I am back with another video. And today we are going to be going over base defenses. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All that good stuff that helps the YouTube grow, man. You guys have been showing mass support, and I appreciate y'all to the fullest, man. But yeah, let's get right into the video because we don't want this to be a 30 minute video for nothing. So now you guys have seen it, you guys have played it, you guys have done everything against it doesn't really matter like but you guys have seen it a lot and base defenses now people a lot of people look for base defenses so that they can they can kind of have like very very good pass coverage on top of having very very good run stuff and you know run fits and this and this and that now the best in the three four playbooks excuse me i just burped the best in the three four playbooks man Cover four drop show two. You guys have played it. You guys have played against it. You guys have gotten frustrated against it. You guys have. This is just. This is just a very very frustrating formation to face in Madden, and I agree with you. It's very very tough. Now, the reason why this play is so good in Madden, I'm just gonna call it random play on offense. The reason why this play is so good in Madden, you base align this play. And all of a sudden, for some odd reason, you have three people blitzing the quarterback. You have three people. And if you check the run fits in this formation, as you can see, everybody besides the outside cornerbacks are in the run fit. Now, what that means is if they run the ball, you have literally nine people coming after the running back without, like, they're going to be there to help stuff the run. Now, obviously, you're not going to stuff the run every single time. It is Madden. But there are going to be some games where you might be stuffing the run every single time. And I use this a lot. Now, to do this, to show exactly how the run fits are in, you know, whether they're running to the left or to the right, it's you hold R2 or right trigger, and you hold square or X, depending on which console you're on. Now, that is to the left. If you want to check the right side, it's O or B. And it shows you how good the, the, the run coverage is going to be on either side. And this is the main reason why a lot of people run this cover for a drop show, too. Because you're only sending three people. But on top of that, you have literally all nine defenders literally chasing whoever the running back is. Now, obviously, if you're running cover for a drop show, too, and you're trying to get a little more run stuff you move your safeties down into the box and that helps out obviously even more because they're they're there to be quicker on to whoever's carrying the ball very very glitchy you guys you guys see you guys have seen this probably a ton of times if you guys have played me i run this a ton of times because some people just don't know how to beat coverage defenses a lot of people aren't a lot of people aren't they're not patient enough to beat coverage defenses so sometimes you can literally just go into a hard flat and then ggs like they'll start throwing right at your hard flat and it's very very tough now if you guys if your cornerbacks are good enough they might be able to sit there and jump corner routes as well and i know that sounds terrible and it's horrible and but if they're if you got cold running an out route and you got that deep blue that's chasing them down that deep blue might not go all the way up the field to you know guard a streak that's there so he might jump and and an out route and that's what makes cover for a drop show too even better it's even tougher and it's just hell man just hell now another thing that you guys can do to kind of help out just a little bit is i dropped an adjustments video uh and in that video i kind of explained that you guys can also cross man in this game so that is also an option with cover fours that you guys can do is cross man now, of course, you would want to put like a linebacker in a deep blue just to help out, and it kind of turns it into a cover three. But if this is a cover three, this is a cover three with really, really good run stuff. As you can see, they are all still in the run fits, helping you guys out to be literally as 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 unpredictable as possible on defense. Because obviously, once you get too predictable, it kind of you're, you're kind of you're kind of shit out of luck at, at that point. So even if you're not cross manning both sides, you can obviously have your guy in like a hook. You can obviously put your linebacker in a spy if you see that they have a mobile quarterback. You don't always have to do that. And then you can also use her one of your safeties. So instead, put oh no, what's Jackson in? Put Tyran Matthew in a cross man and 
user Jackson, and you guys will be able to co you guys will be able to cover a lot more around the field if you guys have a faster user. Instead of using a linebacker, you guys are able to use safety, which is pretty dope. So that is it for this video, man. If you guys appreciated the tip, leave a like on the channel. You guys have been showing mass support, so man, I'm I'm just gonna keep dropping every single day for you guys. So thank you as always. My name is Pony Montana. Two fingers, y'all, man. Deuces.